One of the best movies ever is It's a Wonderful Life, and the movie stars a character named George Bailey. And George Bailey runs a bank, a savings and loan, in his town. And there's a scene in the movie where there's a bank run. So this is during the Depression, the 1930s. So here's the bank run. But before we get into that, make sure you smash that like button, click subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. I've really seen one, but that's got all the earmarks of being a run. So then, once the scene continues, George Bailey gets into the bank and there's this big crowd of people there who want to withdraw their money. And Bailey has to explain to them that that's not how the bank works. They don't just have all the money sitting in the back vault. They've instead loaned that money out in order to build houses and things like that. No, but you're, you're, you're thinking of this place all wrong as if I had the money back in a safe. The, the money's not here. Well, your money's in Joe's house, that's right next to yours, and in the Kennedy house, and Mrs. Maitland's house, and, and a hundred others. Uh, you're lending them the money to build, and then they're gonna pay it back to you as best they can. Now, what are you gonna do, foreclose on them? I got $242 in here, and $242 isn't going to break anybody. Then, after giving people enough money to survive for a little while and get by, uh, the scene switches to the end of the business day. Seven, We're gonna make it, George. Six, It'll never close us up today. Five. Four, three, two, one, bingo! <laughs> we made it, close the door, you sits. We made it. Look, look, we're still in business. We still got two bucks left. Well, look, let's have some of that. Let's celebrate. Huh? Get, get some glasses, Tilly. Well, a couple of financial wizards. Those oh, Rockefellers. Uh, look, get a tray for these two great, big, important Samoans here. We'll save them for seed. A yeah. toast. A toast. A toast to Mama Dollar and to Papa Dollar. And if you want to keep this old building alone in business, you better have a family real quick. I wish they were rabbits. I wish they were, too. Okay, let's put them in the safe and see what happens. Hey, 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 so this scene does a really good job of illustrating first what a bank run is. Lots of people going to the bank wanting to withdraw their money. Now, why do they want to withdraw their money? Because they're afraid that the bank is going to collapse. Some rumor starts, something happens, people start to worry that the bank is going to collapse, and so they rush to the bank to get their money out as soon as they can before it collapses. But the big crowd of people doing that is exactly what causes the bank to collapse. So during the Great Depression, as part of the New Deal, Franklin Roosevelt created the FDIC in order to insure banks so that people wouldn't have to rush to the bank and demand their money back because they wouldn't be worried about the bank collapsing. Worst thing happens is the bank collapses and then the federal government just gives you your money back anyway. So there's no real fear of that. So the FDIC was created to insure banks and to assure the public that they didn't need to worry about a bank run. Uh, this scene also illustrates the concept of reserve requirements. Um, at the end of the scene, they had $2 in the bank. So they were able to convince people not to take out all their money, just enough to get them through the uh, hard times. And they were left with some money so they didn't go bankrupt. Uh, but what the reserve requirement does is ensure that banks have a certain amount of money, about 10% of all the deposits, in the bank vault at any time so that people can come and get their money out. Uh, because if there's no reserve requirement, the incentive for banks is to loan out all of their money as much as they possibly can because that's how banks make money is by loaning it out and charging interest. So the reserve requirement forces the banks to keep a reasonable amount of money in the vault to prevent any problems. So again, It's a Wonderful Life has a great scene illustrating bank runs during the Great Depression, and then we can take from that the idea of reserve requirements and the creation of the FDIC to prevent these things from happening again.